name is Ellen. This week we're going to be taking a look at this 2001 Rickenbacker 650D Dakota electric guitar. As Walnut body and a rock maple neck that goes all the way what a mess this morning is all the way through the body from from stem to stern I tried to look up what type of pickups these are and the internet said they're humbuckers but that they have single coil edge I don't know what that means so they're humbuckers if they're humbuckers they're humbuckers so for God's sakes they're humbuckers it has 24 frets which is a whole bunch Alan play a million octave e scale I kind of see what they're saying about the single coil edge. I mean, these behave like humbuckers, but they have a brightness to them only associate with single coils, but they still kind of have that, like, I don't know, it's a good middle ground. Now let's be serious about this question. If you were only going to have one guitar, how would you approach that? I would, some might be like, oh well I'll have a Strat, oh well I'll have a Tele, oh well I'll have a Les Paul. Well you could only make that one sound for the rest of your life. You know? I, if I was only going to have one guitar, I would have a guitar like this, or a guitar like the St. Vincent. I would have a guitar that's very high quality and is a relative chameleon. It can do a little bit of everything pretty darn good. That's what I want, that's what my story, and I'm sticking to it. It's my show, we do what I want, not what you want. Play badly, sometimes that's what we do. Listen to those pickups, lots of clarity. I feel like I can feel every string. Body. Lots of room for boobs if you're a person with boobs, you've got plenty of space for them on this guitar. We need some distortion. How will we get it? By turning this deluxe up to seven. You know what folks, there's just nothing like feeling your jeans flapping in the wind in front of this amp. that I should really ought to be wearing a hat today, but it would be awfully hard to keep clean. It would be a great only guitar to own for the rest of your life. If you're planning a permanent trip to a desert island, I would definitely consider this instrument. I give it four out of five Ellens. Ellen, 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 Ellen. Here at Phoenix House Music, we also sell vintage clothes. These are the pants that I'm gonna be taking a look at. Look at them, they look like this. Yesterday, somebody came in here and asked where was the bathroom and used it, leaving the bathroom door open. Me and Callan could not believe. We were like, there is a first time for everything. I can tell that these pants wish they were sitting up a little higher. These are boy pants and look at how high up they come on my waist. And I will tell you what, that's where your waist really is, folks. And high-waisted boy pants are a thing now. I know because I went go looking for jeans at the mall. It's very slimming. And when you wear the high-waisted boy pants, even though it's 1,000 degrees and you're at Pride and you wish you hadn't worn black pants and a black shirt, but it's just all that you ever wear, everybody says that you look like you've lost weight, but you haven't. You're wearing high-waisted boy pants. What? <laughs> Say in the comments how I look. Or don't. Sometimes that's inviting a can of worms. Bee's <gasps> got her toes painted! <laughs> Why? Isn't it? There's like a complete disconnect between here did and Did you here. do that to yourself or did somebody do that to my, you in your suit? I went for my first petty and my sister and I'll, just, ne I'll I, never do it again. How did I know that Dirty was a part of that? Yes. Did you like it? No, I hated it. Oh, yeah. Thank you for watching Ellen's favorite thing at Fanny's of the Week. Tune in next week for me to have another favorite thing. <laughs>